Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and welcome back for another exploration challenge. And today's video is with the Hecate or Hecate. It's got a lot of different pronunciations. Another tech tree destroyers this time, a destroyer this time, the Galente one, which looks absolutely awesome. But I have to be honest, I've been trying it out a little bit. It's not a great exploration platform. So we have found a Sanchez Nation occupied mining colony, four out of 10, um, except for the Vigil, uh, potentially the most challenging combat exploration site that you will find here in Heisek, uh, when it comes to the Sanchez sites at least. And let's see if I can align away from the gate. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really anywhere close to touching it, but it's giving me some trouble. And there we go, we are in sharpshooter mode. And we actually do have the room. Now, I made this one cap stable. So normally what I can do is start to fly away from them a little bit. Start everything up. And we have an optimal range now of around 19 kilometers. So I am going to start uh, by focusing a little bit on some of these frigates. In fact, we're going to try to fly a little bit closer to them. And we have some incoming fire. But... This should give us, with 125mm railguns, to a decent, uh, a decent amount of uh, firepower, especially against these frigates. So that's its shields gone, not great. There we go, first one is down, but my shields are already gone as well. Now we do one shot one of those. Let's go after the next one, and then let's try to fly away from them a little bit. And let's see if we can just keep working on all of these frigates. That's a good one shot. You're next at 10 kilometers. There we go. That's what we want to see. But yeah, look at that incoming damage. I am just, just repping uh, the enemy damage. So that's not so great. On the other hand, taking care of these frigates is not that hard at this point. So we're going to continue this. Let them come closer. That is still quite okay. We're two-shotting most of these guys. And even within 10 kilometers, we are hitting quite well. So this is looking all right so far against the frigates. Let's go off to the next one. Yeah, that one is down. Good. That one is next. Still hitting. Good. Next up at 18 should be a couple of good hits. Sinti Plague at 12 kilometers. So that should be quite doable as well. And then here comes the trouble, you could say. Let's get started on one of these cruisers. Oh, we still have one frigate left there. But you can now tell that this will be quite a bit slower. We're going to interrupt this just to take care of that one Ravner back there. We're getting a bit closer to my optimal. But let's, uh, let's get started. The effect is pretty cool. You can see my guns there, my real guns firing at that phantasm. We are now getting through his shields. And for a second that looked like a bubble, but it's actually an asteroid, a very spherical asteroid in the background. But I think you're you're starting to be able to tell the problem with this Hecate feat here, the damage application on this cruiser is really not great we'll take the next one we'll also do an orbit at 15 and uh, we'll try to do some decent damage there while we fly amongst them and yeah we're, we're repping just enough just enough to uh to stay on top of the damage you can also tell that <laughs> we are getting damaged pretty heavily though they are firing all over my very flat ship it looks awesome it looks awesome but compared to what you can do uh, with the jackdaw for instance this really doesn't feel all that great so we'll do an orbit at current we'll fire at that one as well look at that one shot less than a quarter of the shields so here we get another shot and now we're gonna take another one and that, that's six shots just to get rid of almost all of the shields. That is definitely not great. Now, I am doing this with Kaldari Navitorium charges. And I think that they give me a small bonus to range. No, like minus 12%. So very close to the optimal of the guns. I can go with more DPS. Uh, the problem with going with more DPS is that 
you need to get closer but we can show that so i've got i think as my best ones would be javelin and we'll have to orbit these guys at five kilometers so let's maybe take the closest one orbit at five kilometers in order to do that and here is javelin Optimal range 5,000, fall off range 10 kilometers, damage per second 335, not bad. We can quickly do a comparison to the Torium. Let's go. Because I'm still so far off, that Torium is at 250 DPS and then the Javelin is above 300 DPS. So not bad, but you can tell the problem from what I'm doing right here. I need to do a lot of maneuvering to get in range of my targets which is preferably within 10 kilometers because this is definitely a really bad shot um, at 10 kilometers at this point so we're going to try to orbit these, this guy at 5 kilometers then we will need fewer shots once we get close enough but you have all of that travel time before you actually get close enough which is a disadvantage so this is definitely not a very efficient way of doing the first sight. Something like the Jackdaw can actually hit all of these guys with maximum DPS uh, way more easily. And I, in fact, I think I'm just going to switch back to the Torium charges to an orbit at 15 because that's closer to the optimal that they want to choose, which means that I'll have a lot less downtime myself when it comes to actually firing at those ships. A major, major disadvantage. But uh, as I've been saying, this is not such a great platform for exploration, especially in this 4 out of 10, as we'll see in a moment in the second sight, because the incoming DPS is too much for uh, the ship in sharpshooter mode, but you need sharpshooter mode to have any decent application on your targets. And uh, as a result, uh, what you don't want to do is now rush for the true Sansha and uh, try, to, try to break him very quickly. Uh, before you're overwhelmed by the incoming DPS. It's not gonna work. I've tried it and uh, I had to switch out to defense mode, uh, which reduced my DPS, which meant that I had some trouble breaking that true Sancha. So it is, I love the ship. I love how it looks. It, it is a very unique and very cool Galente design, but for exploration, it is just so much worse than something like the Hecate that uh, I cannot recommend this one for exploration you're seeing that we are seven and a half minutes in and we are still dealing with uh, the first room still dealing with these cruisers and you can tell here 229 300 per shot it's not that bad we are killing them and and we've got a decent rate of fire to do this with but you have more manual labor more flying work that you need to do now as well uh, I should have kept a closer eye on the gate so that I'm always in the right position. This is purely by accident that I am actually going to orbit around this this uh, this guy and close to the gate. I could have I could have been 10, 20 kilometers away from the gate as well, um, just because I wasn't paying attention to to what I was actually doing too much. I'm just focusing mostly on just trying to orbit close to an optimal. And there we go. Finally, after basically two full loads of ammo. We have finished the first room, which means that we're going to do a reload and we are going to move up into the second room where, as I've said, rushing for the target is not really uh, an option. So you, we will need to take our time here. I mean, I'm willing to give it a try. Let's see here. So that's the true Sancha. So we're going to start to fly away a little bit. Activate that, target that true Sansha, maybe go straight into armor mode and load my javelin. I'm willing to give it a try, uh, but I gotta warn you guys that uh, it, it won't be pretty uh, if we try the, the dive here. So I'm actually trying to first pull away from these guys a little bit, give my target the true Sansha a little bit of time to, uh, to try to come closer to me. But I think that you can tell already that we will be in trouble uh, because we have to get right in the middle of all of these enemy targets and my optimal at this point is 1000 meters which is just crazy bad if i would go for the torium for instance um let's see here do i do i have decent application that's okay on that slave hunter 
But now let me show you guys my DPS on the true Sasha. Let's try to orbit that one at 15 even. I'm, I'm still, just because of the incoming DPS, look look how, how hard a time I'm having. I'm repping more and better because I am in defense mode. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it is a lot. And uh, I would actually need to pull away. And then just look at my pitiful damage. Because I'm not in sharpshooter mode, it is only 186 DPS. And we're basically going to be here forever. And I don't even think that I will successfully um, defeat that true Sasha. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to pull away a little bit. While we try to also take care of some of these frigates. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we take the long road. Which is what you have to do unfortunately with the Hecate in this side. Which means that I need to get more DPS off the field. So that I can afford to uh, load up my Javelin. Getting really close, 5,000 kilometers of that true Sansha, and then actually be able to tank the damage in sharpshooter mode and take care of him with my max potential DPS. So now I am pulling away. I'm going to switch to sharpshooter mode at this point. That's that. Your next blop should be good. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Your next. And we do have some more frigates here, but unfortunately that's not going to be enough. Just taking care of the frigates will not be enough. So we are going to start to move in that direction. It is fun to, uh, to blab them from 20 kilometers out. But the damage application on that foreman, for instance, would really not be enough, even at this DPS, to comfortably uh, tank him. Uh, to comfortably break his tank so i am basically forced to take all of that enemy dps off the field that one is next good you're next and again look at that um at that incoming damage here even while I am, I'm trying to fly decently away from most of them, I'm approaching one of these cruisers, a couple of these cruisers at 10 kilometers, and they do a lot of, <laughs> a lot of damage to me. So in fact, we're gonna have to pull out again a little bit more. And uh, that, that is the problem. If I would be slow boating towards that true Sancha, ooh, look at that, so much incoming damage. I have to go into defense mode and, and pull away from them. If I, if I try to get too close to the true Sansha, I'm just going to uh, take too much incoming DPS. And as you can tell here, I can't survive that. I can't survive that. Even a manual flying, casually flying back towards their lines is causing me these kinds of troubles. So we're going to turn around again. Luckily, we do have a pretty short reload time. So we're going to continue to fire on that Sentatis Wraith while we try to stay out of trouble but I need to take care of more of these cruisers before I tackle the true Sancha. You can again tell that they are slowly slowly doing more damage than what I can rep and as long as that's the case I can't do my dive on the main targets. So we're gonna keep firing here these cruisers also rep back, so my DPS is a little bit too low to comfortably and to really efficiently take care of them. There you go. They get the chance to do two to three reps on their armor, which is, uh, well, not good, actually. Really not very good. So pulling away again. Uh, Sentatis Wraith is now actually a little bit too far away from me, so we're actually going to have to switch something else that's a bit closer and I guess that we're going to try again to um, do our moves the same way we did in the first room take an orbit at 15 and uh, hope that we can uh, evade enough damage but keep our distance to the targets and in the meantime that guy is actually going to rip back so quite a bit of a waste of time again we're almost 15 minutes in for a 4 out of 10 which should normally take maybe less than 10 for sure uh, with an efficient ship. It looks cool, <laughs> it definitely looks good and it's it's very doable, don't, don't get me wrong, um, but it's not efficient. It takes manual flying, uh, it takes switching to the modes when you, when you make a bit of an error and uh, it's a lot more work. So it is challenging in the sense that 
this Sanchez Nation occupied mining, uh, mining colony might still get uh, get scanned down by someone else. Let's do an orbit at 15 on that guy. And uh, they might, there might be competition here, which would be a real problem because I can't really afford to dive <laughs> on that true Sanchez Foreman. And something like a Gila, something like an Ishtar, uh, Cerberus. Uh, whatever uh, could very easily just decide to go straight for that true Sasha Foreman and and take it from me at that point so Interesting. I love the ship. I love how it looks. I love the concept But compared to the jackdaw and the missile capabilities that sharpshooter mode gives here uh, This is just not that good again fully fully unloaded and and we only managed to take care of a couple of these cruisers So that one is next Let's go and I think I need to get down to close to four or five cruisers even uh, before I do my dive. Because unfortunately getting that close to the true Sancha Foreman is also going to cut down on my speed. Cut down on my avoidance of their damage. And, and that is really the problem. Um, it, it takes too much damage and it needs to get too close to the target in order to apply a full DPS. Here again, look at my incoming damage. It's, it's more than I'm repping. There's... Not much to say, I'm in the middle of all of them and I am taking more and more DPS off the field but I need to still be very careful with what I'm doing. No way that I can afford to just go straight for that true Sancha. You can still see, look at that, still getting on top of me. I don't have a lot of HP, armor is only at 875 which is abysmally small. Um, but I do think that, that a heavy focus on Resistance is not a mistake uh, when it comes to uh, to this ship. Having more HP means that I would survive a bit longer, um, but they would deal more DPS, and and it's it's quite a lot. I need to basically survive on my avoidance, not on my HP, uh, and that means that, in my opinion, resistance is still the name of the game if you want to try to get the Hecate to work, uh, which, by the way, I do want. I, I don't see how. I tried a blaster fit as well. This is... Good God. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> My God. Red back, red back. Pull out. Uh, yep, that's okay at this point. Let's start firing on that one. We're slowly repping back this time. Oh my God, so close. Uh, if you have a... If you do use the Hecate for exploration yourself and you happen to have a fit that uh, that would work and that you want to share with me uh, definitely free feel free to post that in the comments or to send me an email <laughs> that was a bit of a scare right there uh, but we we managed to wrap back thanks to thanks to uh defense mode so let's try again through sasha foreman all right so let's take care of that guy i think that will stay okay when it comes to range Come on, and it, it just, it takes so long now to, to kill these guys off. Uh, because every time you're like ghosting away from that optimal, you're doing less DPS. Every time you're uh, in a scary situation, you're going to, good God, take, firing at the wrong one. Uh, you're also reducing your DPS, uh, your application gets worse. So it's, it's really not that easy um, to do. Uh, this in the Hecate. It's a challenge for sure. I would say uh, this this actually feels like yeah a bit of a bit of work uh, When it comes to uh, tackling this site in this ship, which makes it interesting But not something that I would choose to do uh, in the future So I might want to take this guy in a 3 out of 10 because it's sniping capabilities Let's see if we can take care of that one next to Juggernaut. Maybe he was doing like lots of damage or something. Uh, but maybe in a 3 out of 10 this ship can still uh, finish that side quite effectively. Because you did see that taking care of the frigates was absolutely no problem. And a Sasha trail of 10 is nothing but frigates. But then again they've got that all of those turrets around there. Which is a decent amount of DPS. And uh, I would still be slightly afraid... Uh, to actually go after that. Now there's only three of them left so I think that we can load up our uh, javelin at this point and try to go for that true Sancha. We're going to go straight for him, start firing 
and uh, hope for some good loot of course because 20 minutes to finish a four out of uh, four out of ten definitely not uh, very efficient or very good uh, to say the least although oh good god look at that now i need to approach in armor mode as well at this point because my god he was doing a lot of dps or someone was doing a lot of dps on me all of a sudden so we're gonna try to do that uh, we could try to orbit at a thousand. So now I do like how this looks. This looks really cool. And we're going to orbit at 5k. He does miss at 1k. So I think that we can do, for instance, 2.5k. Try to stay under his guns a little bit. It does look cool. Look at that. How we are avoiding a lot of their guns. Um, but getting there felt risky. And, and uh, keep in mind, if you have like a dozen cruisers... Uh, hovering around you at, at 15 to 20 kilometers they are going to hit you by quite a lot there is no way that i could afford to stay in sharpshooter mode uh, and do this uh, right off the bat on entering this second room so now let's hope that we got enough dps to take care of that true sasha foreman uh, we're going to do some more maneuvering here let's reapproach him that that does look cool you are this nimble fast destroyer that is now um, that is now maneuvering around the targets that is uh, dishing out punishment that that looks so cool look at how cool that looks <laughs> that looks very very cool in my opinion ah but yeah hard to call this good or efficient and then once we slow down again the incoming dps increases again look at his wrapping capabilities so my dps is definitely still not great at all um, going for a full good god and he still reps back even more so uh, we'll, we'll have to use almost a full load of javelins to uh, get through that true Sasha foreman and yet again he reps even more there we go he finally blows up let's go for that loot you could say that we have earned it this time let's get our thorium back in and let's see if we can uh, grab the loot. Thank God that I'm cap stable. Otherwise, this would have been a complete nightmare. But the reward is there. 136 million ISK. That is pretty lucky. A C-type energized adaptive nano membrane. Whew, all that work does pay off. But yes, truth be told, the, um, the Hecate or Hecate is not a great exploration ship. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.